Hey what's up guys, welcome to the third tutorial of the series creating music for video games and today we are going to add the music we created in the last two tutorials to Unity and create a script to play music to fade in and fade out to loop and play music randomly and each one is going to play according to the danger zones to the enemy position so this means we are going to end with something like this So if you want to know how these musics were made, you can find the last two tutorials in the description, one is with Ableton and the other one with Fruity Loops. In both cases I will export the drums and the melodies separately, but you can export instruments individually if you only want to play the piano, the strings or the bass, that's up to you. The script you are going to create will allow you to play everything you want and sync it at the same time. If you don't want to know how to export and go to Unity directly, you can go to the second minute and 30 seconds. So for those who followed the first tutorial and created music in Ableton, they can select the slide bar and choose what they want to export. So let's say I'm going to export the first 16 bars. This means only the drums. So I press this yellow button to shut down the melody. Now I go to file, select export and you don't need to change anything, you just need to know that Ableton only exports in WAV and AIFF format. So if you want to convert your music to MP3, either you do it online or you download a converter. And we can export the drum 01, then the drum 02, export the melody 01, melody 02 and so on. And for those who created music in FL Studio, if you go to the playlist, by holding the right click, you can select what you want to export and turn on or off the respective tracks you want to export by pressing this green light. Now go to file and choose export in mp3 or other format that you wish and as you can see we can export only each part and if you want or your selection and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to export the selection that I made. Then this one I'm going to name it to something like FL Drum 01, then FL Melody 01 and, and FL Melody 02 and so on. Okay, so let's move on to the Unity and in my scene I have those three circles which are merely figurative, they don't influence the code, it's just to represent visually when the music will change. And I also have a cube that represents the enemy, nothing special. And we have the FPS controller that if you want you can import it from the assets, so you can go to the assets, select import package, characters and here you can find the FPS controller. So let's go ahead and create an empty object and rename it to Sound Manager. And if we select the FPS controller, we can see that it has already an audio source to play the footsteps. And we are not going to use this object, but we can use the child as our player, the first person character. Because we are going to need to add audio sources. And it's convenient to have an object that has no audio source. We are going to need three different scripts. The first one is the sound manager script, the second is the FPS sound script and the last one is the track class, which is a class for track. So let's open the track class and we can erase everything, even the mono behavior and say public integer ID for the number of the track, a public audio source called audio source, which is going to receive an audio source, a float for the track volume and a boolean called loop. Now in the FPS sound script, let's add a public game object for the player and a game object for the enemy. Up here, let's also add the using system.collections.generic so we can use lists. And in my case, I'm going to use four lists because I want a list of the drums created in Ableton and another list of the melodies created in Ableton and two more lists for the drums and the melodies that are created in Fruity Loops. In your case, if you have separated instruments, you may want a list for each instrument. But that really depends on what you want. Just make sure that they are at the same tempo, they have the same time or the same length, so everything can work out easily. I also created three private booleans. One is called in calm zone, which is true, and, and then I created the in alert zone and in danger zone to false. 
In the start we want to fade in and start playing the music and those functions are going to be implemented in the sound manager script, which is a script that is going to hold every function related to sound. Just make sure to add using unity engine.audio and system.collections.generic. And in this script everything will be static, so we can have access from anywhere in our game, and I think this is quite useful in my opinion. So let's create the public static play music function, which is going to receive the game object where the audio source is. So we say game object dot get component audio source and play one shot. And we want to play the audio clip we are going to receive, which contains a music or a sound. And here in the FPS sound script, we say sound manager script dot play music the object where the audio source is, which in this case is the same object that holds this script. And we want to play the clip number two from the Ableton Melodies, just to show how this works. Let's also say that in the update we have the Calm Zone, the Alert Zone and the Danger Zone. So this means that if vector dot distance between the enemy and our player position is bigger than let's just create two floats one called calm distance and the other alert distance. So if it's bigger than calm distance, which can be 80 for this example, and alert distance can be 30. So if the distance between the enemy and the player is bigger than the calm distance and the is calm zone boolean is false, we are going to say that is calm zone boolean is true and the is alert and the is danger zones are false and we want to play music, and it's the Melody 0 from the Ableton Melodies. Now copy and paste to the alert and the danger zones, and let's just create a range for the alert zone. We are going to say that if the distance between the enemy and the player position is smaller or equal to the calm distance, and if the distance between the enemy and the player is bigger than the alert distance, and the is alert zone boolean is false, then we want to set the boolean is alert zone to true and the others to false, as well as the track that we are going to play. The danger zone is minus or equal to the alert distance and if is the danger zone false. Now in the inspector let's add our player, which is the first person character, and add the enemy as well. Now let's import our musics, in case you haven't already done it, and we can add them to our lists like this. Ok, so now that we have our drums and melodies in the lists, let's add an audio source. And it's working great, but if we enter in alert zone, the music starts playing on, on top of each other and it creates this mess that we don't really want. So in the next tutorial, which is in the description, we are going to see how to fix this and how to fade in and fade out as well as how to loop everything. And subscribe for weekly updates on game development and see you in the next tutorial.